Okay, now that we know how to create line geometry on the screen and also how to use the construction line features, next what we want to do or what I want to introduce you is a feature that is similar to AutoCAD's offset feature because it will definitely come in handy when we're drawing our line work and when we're drawing slabs or modeling things with accurate geometry. But unfortunately, ProCompass does not have the offset feature, but what it has is what we call the line parallel polyline or the parallel one line feature. And that is what we want to get started on. So the best thing is, let's just dive into the video and see what we need to see. Okay, so first things first, before we actually get further with this video, what I just want you to do is go down. In the case where you have L1, layer 1, and go it says set the scale. In other words, just change this from 1 to 100 and click OK. If anything pops up on the screen, just EE to remove everything and you're good to go. Or you just E6 to remove everything that is on the screen. Once you have a blank screen, the next thing that I want you to do is to create a construction line in the vertical direction. In this case, you can use a short keyboard shortcut. Just go to line and then go all the way to Y or you can just L Y. Now, as you can see, we have a vertical construction line and I want you to place it anyway where you want. Now, the next thing that you want to do is to offset this line by 6000 to the right. Or in other words, you just want to draw another parallel line. A line that is parallel to this one, which is away from it by 6000. To do that, you can go to the line and then parallel polyline. Select the line that you want to offset. In this case, what I want you to do is now offset it by 6000 because we want to create a 6000 by 3000 slab. So all you're going to do is go to 6000. And then once you click enter, then you select the side that you want it to go. In this case, you wanted um, our cursor was to the right of it. So every time that I click, it will be creating a 6000 offset line to the right of this line. So if you want us to repeat, let's control Z. There we have our line. In this case, we're just going to say LP, select the line. 6000 is already selected for us. And then we just go to the left and then we click enter. As you can see, we have offset our line by 6000. What if we want to offset this, say, by 20,000 so that we create a 20,000 by something slab. So what we can do is select the line. In this case, now type 20,000 and then go to the right and then offset and then click escape to get out of the command. Next thing that we want to do is create another horizontal line that is a horizontal construction line. And in this case, again, we're just going to LP it by 20,000 and you're good to go. That is how you quickly offset lines in Procon Pad. Just E6 to remove everything. And in this case, you can also do it for the actual lines. In this case, let's just create a line. Then we end it over there. Then click escape to end it. Then we just go to line parallel. In this case, we can create one line or polyline. But the best way is just LP on your keyboard. Select the line. About type in what you want. In this case, we're just going to say 15,000. Then drag this cursor to the bottom of the screen and just click enter. Now, if you want to go to the top of the screen, you can't do that whilst you're still in the command. You will need to get out of the command as what I did. And then do LP again. Then select it. And then you go to the top of the screen. In this case, it's out of the drawing, so just ease Control Z to remove it. And in this case, you have created your line. So that is basically how you use the line parallel feature. And you're going to see how it comes in handy when you want to draw a box that has dimensions. Next, what we'll see is we're going to draw our box with dimensions. And then we will learn how to dimension it. 